stop tree here I've got another CSP tips and tricks video for you guys since you all seem to like the last one I made in this video I'll be sharing with you the default hot keys and clips studio that might help you develop a faster workflow I'm gonna be putting it out there that I'm using a PC this time but I've used these hotkeys in a MacBook before and they were the same this one's gonna be different from the last video because I'll actually be rendering an artwork and I thought it'd be easier if I just show you how it works alright let's get started Alright, so first things first, I've got a colored sketch prepared already. I drew this on Procreate on my iPad. These days I find it much easier to sketch on there, but when it comes to painting, nothing beats Clip Studio, so here we are. To zoom in and out, it's Control Space. If I want to change the brush size, it's Control Alt. It's nice that the hotkeys both have control in them, because then I could just keep one finger on Control and do everything else with the other finger, like Control Z for Undo. To use the eyedropper tool, just hold the alt key, tap a color with your pen to pick it up, and then you can release the key and it will automatically go back to the brush or the tool you were using. Now that we know these hot keys, let me take a moment to show you how it helps me paint faster. The brush that I'm using here is CSP's gouache brush that came with the program. I mostly use both gouache and thin gouache. I like to switch between the two because the regular gouache brush is good for laying down colors thickly and getting a nice brush texture, whilst the thin gouache brush is good for blending. I also want to show you guys the navigator in CSP. It's not really a hotkey, but it does help for a faster workflow. If you look over here, there's these sliders that control the canvas. The top zooms in and out. You can use the plus and minus buttons on the side too. And if you press this one, you can view your canvas at 100%, which shows how big your artwork actually is. My canvas at the moment is 2000 pixels. Now the bottom slider rotates the canvas. There's a hotkey for this actually, it's shift plus space. Pretty easy, but if you want to go back to making your canvas straight, you can just press this reset button. I tend to draw on the side like this. So it's easier on my wrist, and so I won't have to contort my hand in ways to color a certain part. I can just rotate the canvas so it's comfortable for me. What I also tend to do is flip the canvas horizontally. You can also paint upside down. I know my art teacher used to tell me back then that it's a technique to help you draw what you see instead of focusing on what you think you see. This was mostly for doing studies though. But yeah, I like to flip the canvas because it also helps you see the drawing from a different perspective and see if there's anything wrong with it. For me, sometimes the eyes look wonky if you flip it. At the moment though, it looks uh, good to me either way, so that's calm. It's probably because when drawing the sketch, I flipped it a lot, so it would look right. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention is the spacebar. To quickly move around the canvas, just hold the spacebar. All the canvas hotkeys use the spacebar. So to recap, control space to zoom in and out, shift space to rotate, and the spacebar on its own to move the canvas. I just keep my thumb on the spacebar and move my pinky to either the control or the shift button to move the canvas however I want. If you guys want to know how I did the laces, it's a layer effect called border effect. You can change all the settings up here and there's also other layer effects in this section as well. Make sure that you do this on a new layer because it will add a border to everything on that layer. I like to use it as a quick and easy line art shortcut. Here's a list of the hotkeys I showed you guys, and there's also two I forgot to mention, but they both just help with coloring. So that's pretty much it for this tips and tricks video, I hope it helps some of you out there. I'll also be releasing the speed paint on its own and do an artist meme as well along with it, so look forward to that too, and see you next time.